Hi all, Planetside Agent here. Uh, I had a viewer uh, ask a question on uh, my video where I reviewed this uh, Esbet coffee maker. He's wondering if uh, this would work on a wood burning stove. So <clears throat> I responded that it might be a little tricky since the uh, base of this stove is not very big and it's it's kind of slippery. If you look, it's uh, the base is only about two inches across so you don't have a lot of area here for putting on top of stoves now this one is designed to fit in this little esbit burner and it nests in there really nice and snug so it's uh, very stable you don't have to worry about it sliding off since it's slippery stainless steel so if used on anything else you're going to run into some other problems i'm sure you know in a lot of cases it would work so i just for uh, thought i'd show you some of the different stoves that and see how it looks on it. So, set this aside. So, for starters, the wood burning stove. Well, this is my uh, <clears throat> uh, paint can gasifier stove, and uh, it actually will sit on this because these trivets here are are kind of narrow. So, it it sits on there pretty pretty snugly. Now, the problem is going to be. <laughs> I'll turn this around. The the distance from the uh, from the end of the the snozzle here to the top of the cup, I mean you got you know that's quite a, that's uh, over five inches or right around five inch drop. So I think what's going to happen when this starts to uh, make coffee is just going to spray all over the place. So I guess you could always just hold the cup up here and wait. But like I said, it takes I forgot how how long it took uh, at least five five ten minutes before it heats up and starts. So you'd have to you know unless you want to sit here the whole time waiting for it to go and it and when it starts it's kind of unexpected and when it goes it goes really fast so you don't have a lot of time if you go back and look at my other video on the esbit you can see it once it starts it goes quick so you know i guess you could kind of time it and hold it up here but then you got this part here and you know feeding it you might have to be careful i, I think it's pretty stable but i mean it it'd be quite awkward to use on a stove this high i think any stove that that keeps the snozzle above the too far from the cup is is going to be a problem uh, just for example here's a uh, one of the mini propane stoves on a good size uh, canister I mean it fits on here really nice that would not be a problem but still you got the distance problem you could get one of the shorter uh, smaller cans which would you know make it a couple inches but even then you know yet if you look there's quite a bit of distance here and when this thing's it's probably gonna make a mess over everything so so any stove that you'd want to use this on, you 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 got to keep the height up. I guess you could, you know, if you outside, you could find a rock or something to sit under it or a piece of wood, and then then it would work. So, I mean, you could you could, I'm sure it'll work. The big the big problem is, I think, is just going to be finding a stove that the uh, the pot stand is narrow enough that this thing will, will sit on here nicely. Uh, now I got a. Uh, fancy feast alcohol stove here now this one it, it will fit on this one very nicely so I'm sure this would work just fine I should give this a try and maybe I will after uh, go ahead and reset up for making a cup of coffee with this alcohol stove just for fun but anyway that one would work now this alcohol stove here which is made from uh, a pop can uh, with the inner liner style and this one's just too wide it's just it's it's kind of a little sketchy on there. I think the other thing too, the efficiency, like the alcohol stove, as you can see, if you put this on here, the flame's going to come out and around, so you're only going to be getting heat up here. So it's not going to be as efficient as say with the Esbit, where the flame is just hitting right in the center of this and spreading out. So it's probably going to use less fuel and and. Uh, make your coffee a lot quicker if you use this particular stove. Now this one, since it's got a little narrow burner, would probably work just fine. Uh, probably comparable to the to the Esbit burner. But again, you'd have to compensate because of the height of your cup to the top of your cup to the bottom of the nozzle here. Okay, and uh, like this one, like I said, it's, it's, a little, it's a little shaky on here. I don't think I'd want to risk it losing your coffee making a mess okay now here's uh here's a penny can stove alcohol stove with uh hardware cloth 
oops, excuse me, getting this too close to the camera, with the hardware cloth pot stand. And in this case, I put a couple of nails on here so that it makes it narrow. Now this, this would work too. And it, this would probably work pretty good too, because on this particular one, the flame pattern's a little bit narrower. So this would probably work. So anyway, so I think, you know, probably you could use just about anything on it. You just have to, like I said, make sure that you worry about the space between there, here, and here. And then that'd probably work. So, uh, hmm. Once I got this all apart, I think I, uh, I think I'll go in and, uh, get some coffee and maybe set the, uh, see how if it's going to work on the, uh, fancy feast stove. Okay. I got the, uh, coffee maker all loaded with water and coffee. And I've got my little fancy feast, uh, alcohol stove with an ounce of, uh, alcohol in it. So let's fire this up. Oops, hold on. There we go. We'll set him on here. Put the cup under it. Okay, I'm going to uh, reposition the camera while this thing heats up because it's going to take a few minutes. Okay, there it is. I'll tip it up just a bit here. Start to go. Hmm. You can see the uh, you can see the flame pattern on that. It's pretty much just hitting the uh, the little bumps out here in the in the side. So we'll see how long this is going to take. So I'll fire this up again as we get a little bit closer. Huh? See some drips coming out here. Uh-oh. Yeah, that doesn't look right. There's no coffee. <laughs> huh. It's starting to, uh, starting to brew, but it looks very weak. Yeah, I can see here I didn't tighten it down enough. I don't want to put it too tight. Well, there it goes. It's really cranking now. Uh, huh. That was pretty quick. That was uh, ooh, about three minutes is all it took to brew that. That's a lot faster than the Esbit. Of course, the alcohol fuel is a lot hotter than, uh, than the Esbit tablets. So I guess if you want your coffee in a hurry, looks like it'd work, but I'm not sure if it's how strong it is. So anyway, I'm gonna take this off. I get it off without burning myself. Well, I'll turn this off while I do this. Well, you can see that fancy feast. That guy is burning hot. I put a cup of water on that fancy feast to kind of let the fuel run out. Yeah, this uh, works so quickly that, uh, ow, it's still hot, <laughs> that uh, I probably could have gone by with a lot less half an ounce of fuel, probably would have been more than enough to brew a cup of coffee. So I uh, tried the coffee and it doesn't taste as good as it usually does. It's, it's kind of weak. I don't think this really brewed correctly because of the the heat distribution heating on the sides instead of coming from the bottom. I don't know if that, it appears to me be make a difference. I think it's, uh, maybe that's part of the engineering design, which I don't understand. So anyway, I, you know, it, it'll, it'll obviously work on, on different stoves. And like I said, you just have to put the, uh, make sure the cups close enough to the nozzle that it doesn't spray all over the place. Um, yeah, I was going to say, when this thing first started working, I saw water coming out, but no real coffee, so I'm not sure what the deal on that is. So, uh, anyway, but, you know, I think, uh, you know, if you just use it as designed, it would, you know, uh, it's probably the, probably the way to go. It's going to work best with its little... Uh, 
Nesbitt tablets, although it, like I said, does take longer. But you know, not to say you just can't use it on any stove you can find. You know, it depends on what you do. But on the other hand, there's other ways of making coffee that's a lot cheaper than this thing is anymore. Like I said, on other other video, I've seen usually right around 45 bucks, and one was like 100 bucks. I don't know what that was all about. <laughs> so, I guess they hope somebody will stumble on their their site and not see any of the other cheaper sites. But uh, so. I guess that's uh, all I got to say about this, uh, and uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.